Ice Wolf Flame here. Welcome back to my Lizard Lounge mod pack playthrough. Since last episode, between trying to update my PC and most of the uh, video record drivers I use, I've had a lot of audio issues. Now, hopefully, I got them all fixed up. Uh, you have no idea how much I hate configurations, but there you have it. It's got to be done, I guess. But anyway, since last episode, I've started to organize the base. Just a little bit, not by much. And a few little things I've built, too. As you can see, I'm starting to separate all the ores from the laser drill downstairs that is running really good right now. I'll show you that in a minute. But I've also got a section here for the ore berries. And I have a section here for building materials. And maybe some mob drops. The odd little thing here and there. These Ender I.O. cables are really nice for this. I'll go downstairs here. I've also made, as you can see, a little oreberry farm. I haven't really started it up yet, obviously, because it needs to be dark for the oreberries. Now, everybody thinks the essence berries have to be in the dark. No, they don't. Not one bit. It's only the ore berries themselves. The essence ones don't need to. That's why they haven't grown, and they have. They were put down all at the same time. It's something I've seen in quite a few videos. People are always putting these in the dark with the regular ore berries. And you don't need to. So just keep that in mind. You do not need to put these in the dark. Anyways. Continuing downstairs. Our system was actually pretty full of wood, so I had to put a void upgrade on the barrel upstairs. Soon I'm going to have to do it to this one. Not for quite a while yet. As you can see, we're at 73 stacks of 64, and we can hold 256 stacks. So we got time. <coughs> and if you're wondering what that hole is, while I was hooking up the uh, harvester for the ore berries, the creeper decided to come by. Yeah, ended up destroying the harvester that I did put down, so I had to replace that. Ugh damn creepers oh finally I've been waiting for one of these for a while but as you can see we're getting a lot of the gems in here platinum eventually these will go in barrels it just hasn't been enough to uh, really worry about it at this point in time plus they're not a common uh, ore used right now I've also built two more pre-chargers, as you can see. And I've also separated the power for the four pre-chargers. I put two pre-chargers on 16 RF engines. Which has been a total of 1280 per line, which is what this cable's max output is. And it's been running really good, as you can see. The uh, work timer is going up pretty quick. And it's going to be helpful, especially when I go to upgrade the power to either EU or maybe even the big reactors. Gets get the power from one of those, since they do hold quite a bit, or push out quite a bit, I should say. Anyways, done. Switch that to input. There we go. Now that's all the ones so far. 
These would be the most common ores I will use. Plus I will need these base ores for when I start up the uh, digital miner once we get into mechanism. You need these in order to program it. But we'll get to that one. We get there. 51 essence berries so far. Eventually I'll get the other ones in here. Copper, iron, gold, once I do find gold or berry bushes. Still have a few things in here. I'm not too worried about it. It's only using this single chest right now. And as you can see, 256 stacks of wood. And a lot of food. Why are you in there? Anyways. I've also switched out this, put the grinder back in. Because we don't really need the... Uh, slaughterhouse anymore. I got another bucket here of pink slime. I spawn in uh, pink slime when I do eventually get uh, safari nets. If I ever find a gas deer. So like I said, not too much has been done. Well, hopefully my audio is a lot better now. So we're just going to have a quick look around here. I don't think I have any ore berry pieces around. Doesn't look like it. I'm going to say no. It's okay, we're going to have to wait on those bushes. That's fine. Pretty sure you... Yeah, I don't have too much in it. Electrum. How do I get Electrum in there? Anyway. So yeah, things have been working pretty good as far as the uh, farm in. Today... Honestly, I don't know what I want to do today. <laughs> as you see, I've also got ender pearls as well. Thanks to our seeds out there, and plus a couple endermen I managed to kill with my looting three sword. Now, if I remember correctly. Uh -huh. Just getting a few things caught up on. Probably put apples in its own barrel. Hmm. Probably worry about that another time. Though that chest will fill up pretty quick. Hmm. You know what? For the minute it's going to take to do it, let's just do it. But not, do I have a lever? Yes, I do. And of course, my mouse wants to be a little fucking dick. There we go. That should clear out some room in here. Top it along. Oh, and it's gonna rain, of course. Yeah. 
15 stacks of apples, that's always nice. And eventually, once we get enough of these other items, we will make barrels for them too. I don't know if I'm going to put them in the storage room or not. More likely that, since they are food items, I might put it into uh, a kitchen of some kind. That might be a better bet. Now, hopefully the uh, rain isn't too loud for you guys. I know it, in the past video it has been. So, let's see if we can sleep just a little bit. There we go. And I'm out of food. So, which means... Let's just take some potatoes. And get them cooking up. Yeah, as you can see, we're, I'm processing all the uh, rubber logs. just to get them out of the chest. And this way we won't have to wor worry about rubber for a while. Eventually I will get these uh, stone barrels over here as well, maybe even hooked up to either this old system or a new one. I'm not too sure how I want to do it yet. But I was thinking, even though Journey Map was apparently wiped for some unknown reason. So I have no idea where I've been. Great. Anyways, we're gonna need some dirt. I get two stacks of these. We're also going to need some fence. Now, do I really want to use the wooden fence? Yeah, why not? Because we're going to move these animals downstairs. Finally. Let's grab two stacks. But before we do move them, we got to modify the spot we're putting them. And modify, I mean, actually put dirt down. So if we put it there. Yeah, I know I'm going to lose those, but... I don't care right now. Getting plenty of stone in right now. Don't need to worry about the little bit that falls. So we're gonna put probably the sheep in here. See now there's the issue. No grass. So, I'm going to need a shovel with silk touch. Hmm. That shouldn't be an issue. and sheep here. And 
And we'll put the chickens over here. Hmm. Do I want to make it just as big? Yeah, sure, why not? There we go. No. Throw you there. Throw another one there. That looks good. Sheep, even though it's not even, or <sighs> you know what? Screw it, doesn't need to be. Not going to be keeping too many animals in here anyway. All right, let's go make ourselves a silk touch shovel. Now, do I have a shovel? Probably not. New. And that is just fine. Well, yeah, I do. I don't know if I can enchant it after being damaged. Probably not. Okay, maybe I can. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's go get ourselves a few grass blocks here. Ooh, another two ender pearls. Nice. Definitely come in handy for when I start making tesseracts. And we'll take it out over here. Just need three pieces. There we go. Now moving you guys is going to be fun. Unless I make some golden lassos. Hmm. Can I make golden lassos? Should be able to. Oh yes, it was ender pearls I was missing. Hmm. But do I really want to use the ender pearls I have right now? I do not know. The grass should start growing soon. What the? Now... Let's 
far as the chickens and eggs, probably going to put a barrel right here with a vacuum hopper on the one side. As far as the sheep and cows, I'm going to use a rancher to collect the wool and the milk from the cows. But we'll save that for another time. Lava's been holding up pretty good so far. I haven't had to move the uh, pump yet. So, uh, must have been a really good spot we uh, spawned in. And the sun's going down again. I still haven't closed you up. And guess what? You're closed up now. Uh, enjoy your spot here, guys, because you ain't going to be here for too much longer. Everything's looking pretty good so far. Five emerald. Ooh. It's funny, it gives you more emerald than it does diamond. Makes no sense. Makes no sense at all. Cool. At any rate, come back down here quickly. How are you doing? Still empty. Good. Now, I could shut this tree farm down now that I have uh, plenty of logs and apples, but it's the saplings I kind of want to keep going, because I'm going to need those uh, later to make plant balls. And then the plant balls get used for biomass. So yeah, I try to keep them as much as I can. That's kind of why I want the barrel to... Uh, ooh the barrel to fill up before I start processing them. Spire in there, got creepers in there, I thought I saw the zombie. And a grass block apparently. However that got in there. Must have been an enderman in there at one point. Anyway... I think I'm going to leave it off here. Ooh. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Any helpful hints, tips, tricks, or comments, put them in the comment section down below. And I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, goodbye.